I think of them, I suppose, in a very general way of two things about time and space. Um, because using online, the difference between using online, why online gives you something you don't have before, is you get the ability to, to move around in time in ways which you haven't before. So you get to do the synchronous, asynchronous thing more. You can do synchronously using online technology. We can also, of course, teach asynchronously. So you can have communication, you can have content up there, you can have materials planned. The students can engage with whether you're on there or not. Um, and these two can be blended quite seamlessly together online. Um, so you get to play with time, I think, in interesting ways. And there's also the, the idea of space that online is, is almost a boundless space. Um, when you, and that gives you interesting ways of playing again with, on, with, with learning online you can connect to places that are a long way away. So you can connect to resources you wouldn't have locally. But also, of course, you can connect people you wouldn't have locally. And you can get students to come in and join you from places they wouldn't normally be able to join you. So you can get an interesting sense of different perspectives coming together there. And potentially, by bringing those two things together, you can do interesting things like bringing things into a learning uh, scenario that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get because it's too far away. And you can bring it in the right times. You can bring it quickly to the point in the learning where it can have the most impact. 